Joe Braun, Tribute Speech. It is a hot Sunday afternoon in Louisville, Kentucky, and a 12-year-old, Muhammad Ali and his friends, decide that they are going to the Columbia Auditorium to partake in the free hot dogs and popcorn available for visitors of the Louisville Home Show. After the boys were done eating, they returned to get their bicycles, only to discover that Ali's had been missing. Furious, Muhammad Ali went to the basement of the Columbia Auditorium to report the crime to police officer Joe Martin, who was also a boxing coach at the Columbia Gym. When Muhammad Ali said he wanted to beat up the person who stole his bike, Martin told him that he should probably learn to fight first. A few days later, Muhammad Ali began boxing training at Martin's gym. That is how Muhammad Ali's legendary boxing career all started. Through Ali's boxing accomplishments, his devotion of his Islamic faith, and his fight for civil rights for African Americans, he is worthy to be put on a pedestal. He is known today as an American hero, and rightfully so. Muhammad Ali is a true inspiration because of what he accomplished in the world of boxing. His overall record was an astounding 56 and 5. 47 different people were victims of the wrath of Ali. What's even more unbelievable to, unbelievable to comprehend is that Ali was robbed of his prime years. From 1967 to 1970, Ali did not fight due to his Supreme Court case where Ali refused to enter into the war even after being drafted. As a result, the World Boxing Association stripped Ali from his heavyweight title and did not permit him to fight until the case was resolved. He was fought in, the, in two of the most famous boxing fights, the Thriller in, Man in Manila, where Ali and Frazier fought for the third time, with Ali coming out on top. Ali also fought George Foreman in the Rumble in the Jungle, where against all odds, the aged Ali came out victor yet again. Ali was also the first boxer to win the heavyweight title three times. Also, in the 1960 Olympics in Rome, Ali won took a gold medal. ESPN ranked Ali as the second all-time greatest boxer behind Sugar Ray Robinson. After all was said and done, Ali's famous quote, I am the greatest, can clearly be deemed true after his legendary career. Ali is not known for his boxing skills, but also should be praised for his strong Islamic faith. He joined the Nations of Islam in 1964. The Nations of Islam was a group of black Muslims with Elijah Muhammad as their leader. Before Ali converted, he was known by his birth name, Cassius Clay. However, once he joined the Nation of Islam, Clay changed his name to the title everyone knows him as today, Muhammad Ali. It was because of his strong faith that Ali was arrested for the resistance of being drafted into the war. As ironically as it may seem, Ali was a pacifist and, did, and his deep religious beliefs forbade killing even in war, which is why he refused to go. As a devout Muslim, Ali was deeply saddened by the 9-11 World Trade Center attacks in New York City and the subsequent anti-Muslim sentiment that swept the U.S. He made a statement saying, Islam is a religion of peace. Islam does not promote terrorism or the killing of people. If the culprits are Muslims, they have twisted the teachings of Islam. In 1975, Ali converted once more to Sunni Islam, which carries many of the same beliefs as his previous religion. Throughout his life, Ali has spoken out against war, and has even said that other religions than his own contain some truths. As well as being a boxer and having a strong faith, Muhammad Ali was an inspiring civil rights activist. He demanded racial equality among blacks and whites, and praised the works of Malcolm X. Ali also praised Martin Luther King Jr. It's said that Ali inspired King to stand up to Lyndon B. Johnson, the U.S. president at the time, and speak out against the Vietnam War. Muhammad Ali was a major figure in the civil rights movement, who has received many awards due to his involvement. In 1997, Ali was the recipient of the Arthur Ashe Courage Award, which, re which is rewarded to someone who possesses strength in the face of adversity, courage in the face of peril, and the willingness to stand up for their beliefs no matter what the cost. In 2005, he received from George W. Bush the Presidential Medal, and the Medal of Freedom, which is the highest honor a U.S. civilian can receive. Even today, while battling Parkinson's disease, Ali speaks out for freedom. In 2004, George Foreman, Ali's boxing rival and longtime friend, was quoted saying, Muhammad Ali is a true hero. In fact, the greatest human being